Congratulations on successfully logging into the new Commissioned Minister Information Form, or CMIF system, and welcome to your user dashboard. On this dashboard, you will find information pertinent to your role in the district office and data which is continually updated as changes are made by users throughout the system. The dashboard is broken up into three specific areas. At the top of the dashboard, there is an area for system messages about updates or any additional information which needs to be communicated to districts and other users. This can be closed using the Close This Message button, but will reappear when changes have been made to the content of the message itself, at which time it can be closed again. The column of boxes on the left of the dashboard gives district users a series of tasks and points of information related to their specific district and permission level. Each of these will be explained in more detail later in this training video. Finally, the column of boxes on the right of the dashboard are the most recent favorites and most recent saved searches, which are individual to each user of the CMIF system. These will only show the five most recent favorites and saved searches by a user and all records in each section can be accessed through the View All buttons for each respective section. Speaking specifically to the sections in the left column, the first box of Tasks gives district number counts related to CMIFs to review. Once a rostered worker has updated their information through the Church Worker Update or CWU site, this information will be updated in the CMIF site pending review by their district office. The first line of Overall Pending CMIF Submissions to Review will contain all workers whose CMIF needs to be reviewed and released or rejected from the search system. Clicking on this link will take you to your Review and Approve page to take the appropriate action for each user requiring changes in your district. The second line of Rejected CMIFs to Review is a total running count of any users marked by the districts as rejected from search. If a user who has previously been in this category updates their information for review, they are removed from this list and added to the overall pending line for action to be taken. The third line under Tasks of CMIFs marked with special concerns to review is a total running count and list of any users who have been marked on the Review and Approve page from the district level with the Special Concerns flag. The second box of List Counts District CMIFs in Search contains a running list of counts for rostered workers in the CMIF search system. For each line, upon clicking the link, district users will be able to see a breakdown of each section by roster classification. In this breakdown, each link goes to a listing of users in these categories by name. The final line in this section is the total count of CMIF reports for the specific district. The third box of List Counts are counts of specific groups of rostered workers. The first line, CMIFs marked as RIF, is a list count of any CMIFs marked by the district office with the Reduction in Force, or RIF, flag on the Review and Approve page. The second line of District CMIFs viewed in the last 30 days is a count and list of which CMIFs have been viewed by individuals searching the CMIF database in the last 30 days and is similar to the emails previously received from the LEAF system when a LEAF was printed or viewed by a searching individual. This is the only place where this information will be found, and emails will not be sent to districts indicating that a worker in their district has been viewed through a search. The third and final line of District CMIFs marked as favorite in the last 60 days is a list and count of individual district rostered workers marked as favorite by anyone with search rights in the last 60 days. This is a new functionality in the new CMIF system, and this is a count and record of how it is being utilized by those searching the system. The fourth and final box of District Temporary Users contains counts and lists for temporary search users in a specific district. Each line item gives information to the specific type of users with temporary access. Active users are users currently granted temporary search rights to search the CMIF system. Expired users are temporary users who have expired but are still in the 60-day window where their temporary accounts can be extended. Temporary users requesting extensions are 60-day temporary users who have requested additional time through the CMIF system and are pending approval from their district office. We would encourage district users to log in daily to their dashboard in order to take action on any pending tasks or items to complete. 
this will serve as the sole location for communication and information related to the CMIF information. Please continue to familiarize yourself with the information found in your dashboard.